Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your mid-July reading. Typically my readings are love readings, so keep that in mind. If this reading feels right, then it's right. If it feels wrong, then it's wrong, okay? We're gonna get one of these, we're gonna get one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, then you get to see it now, otherwise it will be revealed at the end. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. not going to spend a bunch of time at the beginning of my video talking about nonsense. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know? You may feel like you're being attacked. You may have your guard up. Carrying around some sort of burden. Holding on to something. It's overwhelming. It's overwhelming, so... You could be receiving some criticism for another person that is weighing you down. That could certainly be the case. There you are, but it could be you could be also dealing with another earth sign, or this could just be you gaining wisdom, devoting yourself to your job, your business, your home, to whatever you put your mind to. Very devoted to carrying a load, perhaps. But it's an unhappy load. <laughs> it really is. There's a there's a lack of wish fulfillment here. But you're trying to keep things stable and secure, right? As you would do. You're trying to keep things under control. Very disciplined in this matter. But it's like you're fighting destiny. Somebody is fighting destiny with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Trying to control the future. Clinging to control. I have this under control. But the fact of the matter is, there's unhappiness. A lot of it. And it's weighing you down. It may, even make you, may be making you feel ill. It's a very heavy load to carry. You guys are holding on to something that doesn't serve you. Because you think it's the practical thing to do? Clinging to control. Now we got two of them together. Clinging to the need to control. You're doing an injustice to yourself. Trying to fight karma and destiny. Trying to fight karma and destiny. When the fact of the matter is, is that it's a time of liberation. It's a time of freedom. Free yourself from these burdens to find wish fulfillment. Stand up for yourself. Look at this through a, through a new perspective. Let's be logical here. Other people see that you're not happy. They do. You can't hide it. If you're in a relationship, for people that are in a relationship, other pe this is how other people see you, this position. Other people see that you are not happy. Your challenge is letting go of control. This is the challenge position. You guys are trying to control karma and destiny. 
You're trying to control fate. You're trying to control the future path because you you think this is the this is the practical, responsible thing to do. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm trying to be responsible, but doing yourself a serious injustice, treating yourself unfairly by carrying this burden, this baggage that you don't really want to carry, but you're taking it on. Eventually, you're gonna collapse. Okay. Because it's not going to lead to anything good. It's it's not. The Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups both reverse. This is not going to lead to happy, happily ever after. It's whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but it's not. It's like closure needs to happen, but somebody will not allow it. I'm in control. We got this. We got this. You don't got this. You can't fight destiny. You can't fight karma. Karma does not lose an address. Destiny has its mind of its own. Let me get this zoomed in. Your overall outcome for this reading is the Ten of Swords reversed. Freedom. Freedom. Liberation. But right now, you're not fulfilling your wishes towards freedom, whatever this is. How come this Nine of Cups is reversed? There's lack of happiness here. Because you need to speak up and you, you need to speak up to find wish fulfillment. You need to be assertive. Maybe your wish fulfillment lies in being single. Maybe there's a divorce on the horizon. Somebody is withdrawn, cold, detached, removing themselves emotionally from a situation just just closing their closing themselves off emotionally to get through this blocking their heart not following their heart for sure be, be, becoming bitter and resentful because they're not in a situation that is healthy you need to walk away walk away Afraid of being single, afraid of doing, doing it on your own, afraid of what you will lose. I don't want to be single. This is for couples, I believe. If you are single, you need to get out of this victim mentality. This is victim mentality. Look at this as a time of liberation. Look at this as a time of freedom. Let go of the baggage. If you are single and you are still holding on to some resentment, which I can see there's resentment here, you need to walk away from that resentment if you're single. Stop attacking yourself. Somebody is letting themselves be attacked, whether they're attacking themselves or by another person or mentally. You need to walk away from that. Don't don't let fear of being alone. Somebody is, is really afraid of being alone. I might not be able to take care of myself if I do it on my own. There's a lack of self-love with this card and this card. Both of them together. The Queen of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody doesn't love themselves enough. Doesn't have enough self-worth, self-esteem, self-confidence to go it alone. But they're in a very, somebody that is watching this, this will not be for, take what resonates with you and leave the rest for the next person, okay? Because this is for thousands of people. This reading was not geared just for you. This is not a private reading. This is for thousands of people. The whole thing will not resonate with you. And to the woman that doesn't like my tone of voice, goodbye. Somebody is disappointed, emotionally unfulfilled, can't even see 
that they have another opportunity, the two of cups, waiting for them. If they could stop focusing on the loss, allow this to dissipate, allow themselves to move on, there's a new opportunity for love. But if you continue to be resentful and hang on to the need to control, you don't even see this love because you're concentrated on everything but love. Destiny, bad luck, okay? The wheel of fortune reversed is bad luck. The justice reversed is bad karma. So bad luck and bad karma is going to continue to come into your life until you truly be practical and do the right thing for yourself. That's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. That's, that is the law of karma. It's time to, to stop being in denial. Get out of this is denial. Let go of sorrow. It's time to heal. It's time to be happy again. It's time to take the swords out and start mending. Allow yourself to feel love. Oh, the devil. Temptation, manipulation, sabotage. You can free yourself from this false bond whenever you're ready to walk away. You can absolutely free yourself from this lie, this false bond, Whenever you're ready to walk away, you just slip that chain right off your wrist and walk away. Somebody could be staying in a situation for materialistic reasons. not listening to their intuition. While you're not listening to your intuition, you're losing yourself. You're going through a repression. It's like your soul is slowly dying. You know what I mean? Not that it's dying, but for lack of a better word, it's emptiness inside because you're not following, you're not following the script. And here we have script and this is script as well. Somebody is trying to control the written plan and they cannot and therefore you're gonna continue to suffer until you, until you find the amount of self-confidence, self-esteem, self-worth and self-love to walk away. It's a karmic lesson, all of those things I just said. So whether this is job or love, this does have to do with a relationship in which somebody is so less than fulfilled but doesn't have the strength within them to move on. And a lot, one of the reasons that they are staying is just for the money, the assets. So the universe is going to continue to throw obstacles in the path until you uh, decide to stop being in denial. The Three of Swords reversed is somebody that's in denial. So somebody has been in denial, focusing on the loss, the hurt, you know, I don't want, who am I going to hurt in this process, blah, 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 you know, who's going to, you know, whatever. And now, you know, they have another opportunity waiting for them, but they don't have the guts to do it. Um, now, this is the same old story, right? We want to know future and love, future and love. The thing is, is Virgo has to make a stand before their future changes. I know that, but they want to hear. But they want to hear that they're going to find love before they make the move because they don't have the courage and the confidence to take the stand. They want to hear that they're going to find a better opportunity before they make a move. You know, they want to make sure that they're secure and stable before they can move on. So we would like to know if they move on, will they be secure and stable? Because they aren't going to move on. It doesn't. It doesn't feel. I mean, some of them are strong enough, but not all of them. Most of them feel like they have to stay where they're at. So, you know, they need to they need to know that it's absolutely going to be better on the other side, that 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 their life is not going to fall apart. You're obsessed. 
greed, resisting change, fear of change, holding on to something that doesn't serve you, fear of change, fear of change, lacking balance, afraid of financial mess. If I go, look at their both money cards. So afraid of what it will cost you financially. What about your heart? It's okay to feel this way as long as the money is good, the stability is there. Could have something to do with children, which is probably the case. Um, so somebody could be staying, whether this is a job or a relationship for the children. Okay. So, you know, maybe they're afraid they're going to lose their children. I don't know what this is. Okay. Because this is a loss, a financial loss, but now we have children here. But the fact of the matter is, is that you are a parent. You are a very stable, secure, solid, practical, responsible parent. Everybody can see that. So you're reluctant to move on. You're, re you're letting fear drive. Fear is driving your life. The chair reversed. When it's upright, you replace that fear with faith. You get in your vehicle and you head on out. Lack of faith. Fear is driving You're cheating yourself from a passionate new beginning. For some of you that have walked away, there's a passionate new beginning. For those of you that haven't walked away, that are letting fear drive your lives, this is waiting for you. But you have to allow yourself to evolve. You have to stop going back and forth. You have to make a decision. And you got to accept reality. This is escaping reality. Somebody is trying to escape the reality of how they truly feel. They don't want to cause any chaos. They don't want to cause any uproar. All the while, their heart is breaking. Either way, the truth is going to come out. The truth will be revealed at some point. It's going to be. The truth will come out. Eventually, I don't know when. Um, there's a new passionate opportunity waiting for you. For those of you that have broken free, that have found the strength and the courage to stand up for yourself, to fight for what you believe in, to, uh, to walk away, you have a new passionate beginning coming. Something that is very exciting, adventurous, and, and promises growth. A lot of passion here to be had. Congratulations to those of you that have replaced that fear with faith because you have a passionate new partner. After you have accepted the truth, the truth, those of you that have the truth came out, the ones that have accepted, stop deceiving themselves, taking the mask off, they have a new beginning. Those of you that are still uh, that are still in escape mode, don't want to see the reality, are going nowhere, stuck. Yep, for those of you that have faced your fears, you have a new opportunity for love. This is a new offer, whether you're offering somebody or somebody's offering you. So we have two sides here. Here we have the truth comes out, somebody finds a new opportunity. Here we have a lot of worry, a lot of guilt, a lot of depression, anxiety, somebody that's holding on to it, doesn't want to accept the truth, even though they know the truth. This is not wanting to evolve, trying to escape, um, hiding perhaps even with addictions, you know, just totally unbalanced, unharmonious, just holding on to something that doesn't serve them, they will continue to lose sleep over this. 
You have to have faith. Listen to your inner guide. This card is labeled faith in many other decks. Faith. Believe in yourself. Follow your own path. Trust. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. So anyway, there's a new passionate beginning for everybody involved. When you receive it is up to you. Yeah, let's get real. Ground yourself. Being distracted, unfocused, tired, irritated, and impatient are all signs that you're ungrounded. Now is the time to become centered and allow spirit to help you ground yourself and reconnect with divine source. From Archangel Michael. Ooh. I just want to wait for that to go by. That's a tractor. With a shit spreader. That was a shit spreader. Romance angels are helping you. My prayer, dear guardian angels of my soulmate, thank you for preparing my soulmate and me for love, for giving us the motivation to make helpful life changes, and for arranging for us to meet. Oh my goodness. Thank you for helping us to recognize each other and have the courage to say hello so that we can eventually delve into a truly intimate relationship. Okay, I'm getting the goosebumps because we all know what this means. Your soulmate is waiting for you to make the right choice. If you are single, your soulmate is coming. They're right around the corner. They're close, 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 like close. It's coming. If you are in a relationship and you are unhappy and you are staying and you know that you need to get out, your soulmate is waiting. The romance angels are helping you. They want you to be together. But you have to allow it. 